1984, an old widowed lady lived by herself in a two-story house. She was completely immobile and bound to her wheelchair. Ever since the mysterious death of her husband, she required the aid of a caretaker who would visit her daily to help her with everyday tasks. What made it so difficult was the fact that the first two floors of the house were only connected by an old and decrypted staircase. When the old lady needed to move between two floors, the caretaker would have to carry her frail body like an infant up and down the stairs. One day, the police received a call from the widow. There had been a murderer. Since police units were scarce at the time, and the murderer had already fled the scene, only one detective was set out to conduct the initial crime scene report. He had arrived to see the caretaker's body splayed out onto the floor with her vocal cords ripped off, leaving a pool of blood on the first level of the house. The old lady sat atop the staircase in her wheelchair watching him, still in silent, seemingly in shock. He immediately ruled her out as a suspect due to the inability to move up and down the stairs, and because she was strapped up there at the time the murderer took place. It was similar to the death of her husband, who had suffocated in his sleep on the couch downstairs many years ago. The detective put on his gloves, took the photos, swabbed for evidence, and covered the body until the coroner left and arrived earlier. All the routine business, he scooped up the entire first floor for any clues, then asked the old lady if she could look up if he could look upstairs. She insisted that she was upstairs the whole time, and no one part from her have been up that day. Regardless, the detective ascended the staircase, to which she slowly and hesitatingly moved aside. Beyond the staircase, there was a narrow corridor with three closed doors along it. She checked behind each of the doors and the empty bedroom. Nothing. The bath bathroom? Nothing. He became anxious as he slowly made his way to the final bedroom, where the old lady slept. He opened it, and everything looked normal. A bed, a wardrobe, beside table with a lamp. He checked every wall in the corner from him in horror. It was not what he discovered, but it was what he didn't discover is what made him stop dead in his tracks and slowly reach for his gun in his holster. It was details so minor that they had completely overlooked it on the last investigation of her, the, her, the husband's death. There was no phone upstairs. He suddenly heard a noise. He withdrew his gun and rushed out of the room, only to find an empty wheelchair atop of the stairs.